In this tip and trick, we're going to have a look at the constraints you'd use to create a realistic looking chain. So what I've done is I've basically mated those two planes together using a coincident. And I'm now going to apply a tangent constraint to the inner circular faces of the link. There we go. Okay. And if we now have a look at this link, um, okay, notice that I've removed the grounded constraint from the first piece of the link and if we just save that up we create a new assembly now and we go and place the first two chain links into the assembly and we grab another two place them in but I do exactly the same thing on the constraints so first off we don't want to be grounded and we want to be flexible okay on both of those we're then going to go and well you'll see these now act independently but we're going to add the same constraints so i'm going to go back in and i'm going to choose that face and that face we'll apply them and then again i can go and place a tangent constraint on the inside of the links so tangent on the tangent and apply that. Okay, you can now see that the chain actually behaves like you would expect it to in real life because everything is set to flexible and the initial is not grounded. But we can go back in and switch off the planes so that the visibility is hidden and you've now got a chain that you can move around. Um, you could then further constrain it to specific geometry if necessary. Thanks for having a look.